the first thing we're going to do is remove this flat field stone. Right in the wheelbarrow, all right? Now, this is what we're going to replace the field stone with. Okay. This is called bluestone, natural cleft bluestone. Mm -hmm. And how many of these are we going to put in, Roger? Thinking right now about 14 of them. But it all starts with digging out the topsoil. So let's get busy with that. This yellow string line I set, this represents the outside edge of the walk. So what we're going to end up having is six inches, and then the stone, and then six inches on the other side. Okay. Now, Underneath the stone and on the sides, we're going to put in this three-quarter inch stone. And then underneath the blue stone itself, we're going to put this stone dust. Now this is really fine and it'll fill all the voids underneath the blue stone so it doesn't rot. Great. What we're going to have is six inches here, then a 30-inch stone, and then six inches on that side. All right, Dara, I'm going to dump this wheelbarrow of three-quarter stone. What I want you to do is just take the rake level it out for us. So it's about three inches below the line. Okay. Turn the rake over the other way. There you go. Now what we're going to do is take this hand compactor and compact the stone. That looks great. We're three inches below the line and we're ready to start setting our bluestone. Okay. Now we talked about setting the bluestone in stone dust, this material here. What I've done is I've taken the stone dust and I've mixed it with water and created a slurry. You can see how nice and wet it is now. Yeah. What that's going to do is that's going to allow us to push the bluestone down into it, and it's going to fill in all these voids that are underneath the stone. It's not perfectly flat. That'll stop it from wiggling. Okay, right about here. Going to need a lot more of it. We're going to have about an inch or inch and a half setting bed, so keep it coming. I'm setting a bed here about 30 inches wide, the same as the bluestone. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, what we're looking for is I'm going to set it about four inches from the walk. All right, I just want to check one thing. Take your tape measure and get me six inches off the line, and I want to be about four this way. All right, Dara, you got your rubber hammer? Yep. What I want to do is I'm going to level this piece to the line so you can see it needs to be tapped down a little bit. So just hit it right there for me. No, hit it. Okay, we still need to go down a little more. I think that's pretty good. I think so. On to the next piece. To keep it looking great, we're going to be putting in some steel edging. What this is going to do is keep the mulch and the loam from getting in the stone of our walkway. So if you just flip that end in down there for me a little bit. All right, that's good. Come on down here with me. This is 3 16 of an inch steel edging. It's 16 feet long, and it has these little pockets in the back, and that's for these metal stakes that we're going to drive down through to hold it in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off six inches off the edge of my bluestone right here. Start the stake in place. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to work our way down the row. Now, don't drive that all the way in. We just want to get them set. We get make sure this line's straight, then we'll drive them home. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Well, that's good. That's the end of the steel edging. Now all we have to do is take this three-quarter stone and fill all the voids. It'll look great, and it'll lock everything together. Wash all the dust off, and it's going to look unbelievable. Well, Roger, this is great. Before we had wobbly stones and a muddy pit, and now we have this beautiful walkway. Mm -hmm.